So this room you'll remember from earlier videos where it's being it was being cleared out and um, the roof tiles are also gone. Here's all of our roof tiles. These tiles are enormous, Linda. Yeah. Look at that. I think they put the biggest ones at the bottom. And work their way up. I don't know if the camera can see this, but down here, this will become our new exterior face of the cabin at this end. Once all of these guys get removed and the walls get taken down, this is the one that we've been talking about as a ruin. Leaving it as a ruin and a courtyard. Just love this view. So they've patched up. Yep. So this is looking into the upper room. And this will be the view from the top of the stair into our great room. So these, I believe, are there to pick up a ridge beam that's going to run all the way across here to there for our new roof structure. And all of the ring beams, at least on the high portion of the roof, looks complete. Over here, we still have a lower roof that still needs to be tackled. Freshly poured and curing ring beam. Oh. We got a calf. Oh, baby, baby cow. This right here might be our first piece of structural steel. And it overhangs the end of the building. And um, I believe that's going to pick up the overhang, the roof overhang. So we were worried about this piece, oh, and Eccolo. there it is. Thank you very much. Yes. Guarda qual è la parte più dritta a me, se possiamo girarlo di qua di là. Possiamo 
giallo lì. Metti lì qualcosa sotto. Questa è da due questa. No, di qua, di lato. Metto di lato, sai quanto è storto? Vai in là, metto. Vai ancora. Quanto c'è lì? 3 centimetri di più? Sì. Ah. Ma allora spingi, guarda me. Metti un chiodo lì a me, metti un chiodo. Secondo me quella spingi da qui. Eh, però eh, poi non sei in mezzo. Eh. Io la spingo un po'. un po' qua e poi di là vai storto vieni fino su lui porta Bassati. Lì. Abbassati sul pilastro, per favore. Eh, vai un po' più dentro. Ok. Di là, di là, di là. Devi fare di qua così, aspetta. Devi fare qua così, vai. Fai uno lì. Dritto lì, vai. Devi andare sotto l'altro travo. Abbiamo fatto 70 eh, di là.
Okay, I'm standing on near the top of the roof and I uh, thought we'll do a little explaining uh, on what the recent activities have been. So the, the first thing about uh, renovating a 300-year-old uh, stone cabin is that um, th these are stacked stone uh, cabins. Um, there are many different types of uh, stone cabins, so we, we've got a stack stone. What that means is that, look at this thing, it's literally just stone um, stacked on top of one another. There is no mortar to speak of. There's some mud. A little mud. There's some mud and a lot of dust. And uh, so to, to make this thing uh, habitable by today's standard, we had to do a couple of uh, remedial solutions to bring the seismic and the structural design up to code. And uh, we've seen in earlier episodes where uh, what, what we've been calling grade beams um, at the bottom of the walls, just to stabilize it. And right now they're, they're, um, they've, they're nearing the end of installing what we call ring beams. I don't know if that's the right term, but basically it's the inverse of the grade beam which at the top of these walls, I mean, the only thing holding them in place is gravity. Yeah. And so you can see this, this top, this is one of the uh, yeah, few we... remaining walls, exactly, remaining walls uh, that's not been uh, treated with a ring beam. But, um, but getting concrete reinforced with steel poured on top of this thing just really holds all of this stuff um, in place. And, and keeps the walls, just kind of gives it a lot more uh, rigidity. And I think it does a lot in terms of seismic design when mm -hmm. things start to move in this part well, it of- It holds the walls to each other too. That's right, so, that's right. Yeah. So you can see that's a, that's a detail here. And um, anyway, there, down here, you can see that sometime, probably, I don't know, we, 50 we, we think ago, 50 maybe? some years yeah. ago, they did, somebody did a, uh, a version of the ring beam and, um, and they kind of, um, it, it, you know, by, by today's standard, this is not an excellent execution. <laughs> you can see the aggregates are huge. Big and rusty bits of metal rusty. sticking out. Exactly. So anyway, in, the, in, in our work, uh, we're not taking this for granted. So we're doing another uh, ring beam on top of that and to, to make sure that it actually functions and performs. Uh, as and needed. it has to hold the weight of the ridge beam and the uh, rafters, right? which exactly. these things are huge. Exactly. These are massive, massive beams. Example of the ring beam are these guys right here. So we're standing, our, our house or cabin has uh, two uh, roof heights. We're on, on the upper roof and a little bit past here, you'll see uh, the lower roof. So all of the work, most of the work, I've been concentrated on the upper roof right now. And uh, so this is our new ring beam. Uh, we got some, uh, we got a roof uh, ridge uh, beam put in mm -hmm. just this morning. And the start of some of the new roofing framing members. And these we'll see from below, like the ceiling and the roof and insulation will all go on top of this. So from below, we'll see these large beams, except for the places at the ends where the rooms are separated, where you can see they're bricking up so that from the inside, it'll be stuccoed and we won't see the ring beam and post um, from below. Yeah. But they've done a lot. They've done a lot done of a lot. this and uh, things are moving. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And the end pieces they cut off of these giant beams, they're going to make great garden stools. I can't wait. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, but we have a, uh, uh, a, a herd of cows coming our way. So, <laughs> Life in the country. I love it. They framed out this guy here. This is right above our balcony. And um, there's a big piece of steel bracket that's holding this thing in place. I love it. And Linda is <laughs> I'm finding testing some, out my some, new garden new stools. stools. <laughs> Look at this. That's some, massive. Some serious screws. Wow. So if this guy goes it has to all go. the way yeah. in here. It bites. There you go. It doesn't look like they fastened the top, but they put this one here. Yeah. Oh, pretty amazing. Yeah. So earlier we were talking about grade beams, and this is an example of what that looks like. We've shown this in previous videos, but here's a reminder. Um, so they dig it out. They dig out a little bit of debris, and uh, 
under the stack stone walls and um, insert some seal reinforcing and fill it back up with concrete. And I'll show you in the next room uh, what that looks like with a new floor slab. So this is the gray beam, uh, but now with a slab poured up against it. That's all. So this is our gray room and it's starting to look put together. So we've turned a corner and things are coming back into the place as, as, a, as starting to be more finished materials. Um, concrete floor, I um, wanted to show you the floor. Underneath this thing is this thing that the Italians call igloos. And uh, they put a whole grid of this thing down and then pour concrete over it as a means to provide vapor barrier. Uh, so I, I don't quite understand it. It seems like a lot to it's do. It's airflow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Keep, it gives some airflow underneath this thing. I think it's a code. They can run pipes and things, I think, too. Okay, good. Anyway, it's actually down. And um, so this is the f sort of the slab, in the, our very first slab yeah. in the cabin. Well, so we're beginning to get a roof and we're beginning to get a floor. So it's really nice to make the turn to um, putting things in rather than just taking things out and knocking things over. Right. Um, so a whole new chapter is starting and we're really excited and we'll keep you posted as things unfold. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.